Hey, guys. The fact is, I like women. Wait, 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 wait. Why do they keep referring to you as some, like, prostitute? Like, you're just wayward, like... Hi everyone, welcome back over to my channel. If this is your first time watching, well, welcome over. My name is Amy and over here we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle and DIY makeover videos. And today we have a totally different video for you. I know you guys have met with me a couple of times. Why is she just sitting there looking like she's like just this good little girly girl? She's not. I am a good girl, you guys. <laughs> Don't believe Amy, I'm a very good girl. Uh, <laughs> to all of my Gambian brothers and sisters, you guys know what what's on Gambia is. So if you guys don't, okay. So if you're actually not Gambian, I'm just gonna give you guys a little gist, okay? Not gist, okay. But I'm just gonna give you guys the backstory, okay? So what's on Gambia is actually like a gossip site of Gambians, okay? If you don't know, if it's your first time watching, I'm Gambian. And by the way, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you are subscribed. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. We are almost at 20K, you guys, okay? Let's get it done, okay? Um, Smash that like button. No, we're actually not at almost 20. Oh yeah, we're almost at 20K. You're almost at 20K. I actually don't know, I, can't, I really can't remember. But make sure you smash that subscribe button. And make sure you also check out Whitney's channel because we're also going to do another video on her channel. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you're going to have to check it out. I'll link it down below for you all. But anyway, back to the story. What's on Gambia is a gossip site. It's almost like, what is it called? On the Instagram. Shade room? It's almost like the shade room. So what's on Gambia is like the shade room of Gambia, okay? And I'm from Gambia. And sometimes what's on Gambia be putting me out there, telling my business, saying it, but I never responded. And for some reason, Whitney was like reading some of the comments the other day, and she was like, Is it my turn? Kill me in. Kill me in. Okay, go ahead. Kill me in. So I just found out, you guys, that Amy's a celebrity. I am not a What the? <laughs> I am not a celebrity. Amy is a full blown celebrity in Gambia, right? So I. What the? I, you are. I'm editing this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't edit this out. Anyways, I realized, or well, yesterday, was that they actually talk about her. Like, you have people who are like, y'all. These comments that I was reading, I was just like, oh my gosh, we have to react to this. Like, these people are going in like crazy. There's certain things that I've actually said in the past, and I do not regret saying them, and I still do have the same beliefs, and they could still come for me. I really don't care. Let's go ahead and react to some of these comments. So, one of the first topics that, not a first, okay, we, it doesn't, it's not gonna go in any particular order, but we'll tell you what topic we're talking about. So, what's the first one we're talking about? This is when it says what? Okay, so. You guys, I guess Amy, you're doing a show with your sisters, right? Yeah, it's the sister show. I'll link it down below also if you guys don't know me. And my sisters do have a show and go ahead and check it out if you have never. So during the show, I guess Amy and her sisters, like they were just talking and Amy said something and out of everything that she said in the video, they just took this one thing and said, we're going to crucify her about. So um, it says on the latest episode of the sister show, she dismissively said, we need to start putting men on the spot. Have you dated a Gambian man? Let me give you a list of African men you should run away from. When you see them, run. If you're watching right now, I'm giving you a list of men you should run away from. Gambian men, just run. Gammy men, run. They're not even romantic. And I guess the romantic part is what triggered everyone. Okay, so let's just let's just pause there, okay? So if you're from Gambia, you actually do know. When I say Gambian men are not romantic, I'm not saying every single Gambian man is not romantic. That's not really what I meant, right? But for the most part, right, most most Gambian men are not romantic. That doesn't mean your husband is not romantic or my uncle is not That doesn't mean that. It just means that most of them are not romantic. And if anything, if you're watching, take constructive criticism. There's nothing wrong with that. But now let's get into what some of these people were saying. Y'all, this is funny as hell. Okay. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm ready to get back. So you can laugh all you want. So the first one says, she should ask herself how she is born. Is her father not Gambian? It is good to observe your language before you say anything about someone else. If you have no respect for Gambian men who are your father and brothers and uncles, think about who you are. Ooh, he sounds very upset. What you gotta say about that? <laughs> I, I was, I so, was so, so, so this is the thing. I, I, I don't. I, I, I'm not upset that he he said who your father and your uncles and your brothers are. Like, 
And like I said in the beginning, when I say Gabi men are not romantic, I'm not basically pointing finger at everyone. If if the pants fit, oh yeah, wear it now. Ah, you can wear it. If you think you're not romantic and you 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 saw yourself in this, please, it's your own, it's your business. But honest truth is, I don't really care if my dad is not romantic, if my uncle is not romantic. I, that's not my place to say. I guess we we need to ask my mom if my dad was romantic. But I don't know. But most gay men are not romantic, and I'm not changing my opinion. That's how I still how I feel. I said what I said. I said what, what I, I said. said. <laughs> Basically. You don't meet a right guy who loves you because you were just struggling to be loved by a gambling guy. So it did not work for you. I see don't angry, just try. Skip. I think. <laughs> skip. I can't even read. No, skip. Moving on to another one. Okay, so the next comment, this person is responding to someone, right? They said, no, she is simply a prostitute. My brother excused for my language. She lives a B life calling herself a model. She wants a B life where she sleep with one man and then come back to her husband. No Gambian man would do that. I'm talking because she generalized her comment. Gambian men, and I am Gambian. Otherwise, who cares about an ugly playgirl like her? <laughs> and she doesn't respect the men of her country, who cares? Let her simply, as Americans would say, go the F out of here. Oh, get the F out of here. Damn. Let's just be honest, though. Hey, one thing like, you're not about to call me is ugly. That's I one mean, thing you're not going to call me. How, I mean, can you see the looks? <laughs> Do you see this? <laughs> nah, I'm just joking, okay? But to be, to be honest, it's quite sad how you can actually now, just because of what I said, look at me and even call me a prostitute. Like... Like, like how? Like how does what I say now translate to being a prostitute? Like, what? What? What about me and what I said translates to being a prostitute, right? What about me and what I said translates to being an ugly bee and that sleeps around with every man? I mean, unfortunately, I don't even know you. I've never slept with you. I've never slept with your family members. I mean, I'm gonna keep it cute because if I was not, then I'm gonna really get deep. But let's just keep it cute. The fact of the matter is. Why do you, why, why call me a prostitute though? Have you ever been publicly romantic and linked to anybody that anybody could say? Absolutely not. I have like, nobody can ever actually come out and say Amy has publicly like been in a relationship. Like Amy's with this so one. And, like, yeah, I would never know like, who she is dating. I can tell you that right till now. Till you die, son. <laughs> till you die. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, next video is a boyfriend tag. So no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Great. Someone said she can go to hell simple. Damn. You angry. <laughs> I can go to hell. Wait, 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 wait no, this one says, Amy, you are an idiot. How men F you every week if Gambian men are not romantic? That's great for us. Huh? We are oh. proud for that. We are not looking for romantic women to marry them. We are looking for women who will respect us and rest of our family members. Married is not only romantic. If you marry women who is romantic more than B, if there is respect, is nothing. So you mean to tell me you would choose? I don't even, I, I don't even think it's a choice here. Why does it, why is it an option it's to- say you're an idiot. <laughs> you're petty. <laughs> why do you have to choose between, why does it have to be an option of choosing between like romantic and respectful? Why can I have both? Like what, why is it so, why, why is it, why, why do I, why is it an option, right? For me, I think, right, I need, like, I need someone who's romantic. I need someone who is actually respectful also. Like, you coming out on the internet and actually calling me the B word does not make you respectful either, right? What just because throws me off about just some of the comments that I've seen so far is why do they keep referring to you as some, like, stranger? Prostitute, prostitute like, you're just wayward, like, why is that and the I thing? Think, like, where are they getting this? No, no, no. I, and that referred me back to like the last, the last one you read, right? Mm -hmm. um, it's so sad and it's so crazy that being a model, like in a normal, Af like most African settings, mm -hmm. is normally deemed as being a prostitute. I remember very well, right? When I actually just started modeling, my first contract that I've ever had was in Senegal, and. It was not a contract in Senegal. I actually was working for an agency in Senegal, and my first contract was actually in Perry for Perry, like for Paris for, um, Fashion Week, right? Mm -hmm. Legit, someone went and told my mom that this is a work of a prostitute. 
my bro when i tell you when i tell you my mom took my passport and traveled with it and i actually never went to that show like i never did paris fashion week because of that reason it's serious like people legit believe that models are just prostitutes and for me that has like actually been an eye opener for me yeah it's 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 pretty sad i'm not a prostitute though just saying i work hard for this coin so one of the comments actually said you think we have time for romance we eat tapa lapa every day do you know what that is <laughs> what's wrong with people do you know what tapa lapa is no, it's, it's like it's this local bread that they make in Gambia, but it's like, like it's 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 actually tastes really good. But people like associate it with be like being like cheap, right? Mm -hmm. So like he basically he's saying, who said they have time for romance? Like they eating tapa lapa okay, every day. Okay, but here's the thing: you like no one's like okay. Well, I, I feel like people. I feel like I as a woman. I feel like you too. We're reasonable. Like, no one's asking for, like, these crazy things every no, time. No, I like, think most of them are really, as you said, in these, like, romance with, like, money. Like, be, like, finance, like finance, right? Being romantic... Okay, now that we are here, let me just educate you. Being romantic has nothing to do with rich. How many of you Gambian men, okay? I wouldn't even say just Gambian men. How many of you men, okay, these days would actually do the bare minimum for your woman. At some point also, I have to blame us because I feel like we have made it so easy for men, right, as women, to the point that they now feel like, oh, we don't have to try too hard to like, just, true. To, to, like to get you, or there's so many options out there, you know, if, if it's not this one, it's the other one, so the kiss some them, you know? Like, which is so sad. So you want us to wear gel jelly. So what is gel jelly? Gel jelly is like a, it's like a, like it's like a romance, like it's like a waist bead, okay, that mm. women wear for like, to just be like sexy for their men, right? So you, you now want us to wear gel jelly, and bra, okay, and dance for women. Is that what you call romance? <sighs> Who trained you? For you, for you, even I start attacking. Can you write the definition of romance? Can you understand what romance is? Because that right there, nothing about that is like what that doesn't even make like, any nobody, sense. Nobody even asked you to like go and wear like, like and she, she and he said she he said actually he mentioned g string like which is you know the the under like the tongue right. Who, how is that romantic? Like why do you think that's romantic? Like the definition of romantic is displaying or expressing love or strong affection. Displaying, right mm -hmm. or. Um, expressing or expressing love or love strong. or strong affection mm -hmm. display there was nothing like money there was nothing like take me to go shopping there was nothing like change my tire wear there was nothing like uh, wear g string <laughs> there's nothing like dance for me it's just a way of showing your showing love love you show that I love you and that is gonna be subjective to the couple at hand so <laughs> yes y'all like know it, what is romantic for y'all not everything that will be romantic for a couple will be romantic for the next couple but let's, let's now move on to another topic okay that I was bashed for which is homosexuality and my thoughts so what did I say according to Amy some according of the Gambians Amy. who attack homosexuality are the same people who are cheating on their wives every single day and sleeping with their mates. And, and 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 point of correction i think because the topic at the at the point was actually two gambians but i strongly feel i strongly believe in this right with any other race and 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 culture not just african even americans you have americans who who are very homophobic am i lying no, like you have Americans who are very homophobic and I believe every part of the world that you go to, you have people who are so homophobic. But guess what? I actually strongly believe that most of these people, back. no, most of these people who are like, who are so homophobic are serial cheaters. And <clears throat> go ahead with me. So they said, Amy C. Say needs a psychiatrist. What does <coughs> cheating on your wife have to do with homosexuality? Cheating on your wife is wrong, and we condemn it the same way we condemn homosexuality. So who are you to now condemn how someone else feels or choose to live their life or how, who they love and why they love? Like, what is your own business? Like, uh, for me, it, it confuses me. So I will say this, though. 
you know, I feel like, you know, everyone has their beliefs and I definitely have my own beliefs too, right? But I don't like how in this day and age, a lot of people like to try to force their beliefs onto others that don't think the same way or want to live the same way as them. And I just don't feel like that's, that's right. Like, I mean, leave people alone, you know? Leave people alone. Mind your business. I, 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 Mind your business. Like, I, and, and, for, and for me, it's like, and what he's saying is like, oh, I didn't agree to cheating. Okay? So you don't agree to cheating. Okay? That's, that's your problem. Right? I didn't say that cheating was right. Right? And I didn't say that you should believe in homosexuality. Right? What I'm saying is, you choose to be with a woman. Or you choose to be with a man. Now leave the other person to not choose to love who they love. Even in, I'm, I'm, a, I'm born and raised Muslim, right? But even in Islam, right? It, even in the, in, the, in the Quran, it says, Lakum dinukum wal yadin. Practice your own religion and let others practice their own religion. In peace. Basically, believe in what you believe in and allow others to believe in what they believe in. Like who, so now you want to be the judge, the jury, and the who? Let her go to hell. How does she know that? If any lady who cannot play her role as a wife, know there will be someone special who is willing and ready to play the role with full force. This person sounds very misogynist. Very. Very narcissistic. You're, you're like, li like, it's insane how you would think the reason why you, the, like, you are going to cheat. Is it a man or a woman? Um, majority of people are men. You know, it, what the sad thing is, they've actually made women start believing this. That the reason why your husband is cheating is because you're not doing enough. My friend, you're doing enough. Exactly. You're doing enough, Ooh. okay? Your husband just wants to cheat, okay? They have no self-control. Say that. Because women can literally do everything right. You cook the food that he wants <sighs> to eat. You, you, you dress the way he wants, you want, he wants you to dress. You do everything right, and they still want to cheat. You just have no self-control. Don't sit up here and make her feel like she's crazy. From, I, I think earlier on, me and Whitney were having a conversation, okay? And what, my, what I was telling her was, the way people behave, right, is not about you. That's why you're behaving that way. How you treat me is not because I'm this way. It's because... That's how negative you are. That's why you want to treat me this way. And it has nothing to do with me. If your husband wants to cheat, it has nothing to do with you and you not being romantic or you not giving him enough, okay? It has everything to do with your husband who just wants to cheat. She is perhaps not a Gambian or perhaps paid by failed Western movements to say such a I'm blasphemous thing. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Let me tell you why I'm sick of it. They are so quick to run and say, you're not even Gambian. Gambian people, the moment you say something that they don't want to hear, you're not even Gambian. Oh, she's not even Gambian. She's not even Gambian. <laughs> you would never be more Gambian than I am. I am a proud Gambian citizen. Say with your chest. Ah, I wish I had my passport. Say with your chest. I will splash it on your face. What color is your passport? Green. I was green for the yes. Gambian passport? Yes. I didn't know that. I'm a, I'm a true guy. Like, stop this. Whenever you disagree with people, now you call them non-gambian like who like who are you like why do you think i'm not gambian mother like, you're not doing gambian foof oh. they gambi by gambi fana fana pirnak am i different today he said to say such a blasphemous statement a true pure legally born gambian will never cower down legally you see what i'm saying you see what I'm saying? And, and this is the thing. I think it's so sad that everything is now linked to, oh, the Western influence. You people are so quick to say the Western influence. But you people will be the first one to run in line to go to an embassy to look for a visa. If you don't want the Western influence <laughs> so much, why are you running to get a visa? Man, why do you want to go to so Europe? hard. No, I'm not. But that's the <laughs> fact. Like, stop saying... Stop. Even, your, even our governments in Africa are funded by West. So what, like, I'm sick of this thing. You're not Gambian. You're, you've been poisoned with Western influence. I agree. Just shut up. You, everything in your countries are funded by the West. So please. They like going. certain parts of it and then they don't like certain parts of it. You cannot, because you cannot pick and choose what you like and you don't like. Is it that you like it or you don't like it? Period. I don't have nothing to say. Um, Keep it pushing. He said, we'll never cow, cower down to Western influence on the punitive and dangerous act of homosexuality. If it were not her surname, Back to Western influence. If it were not her surname, I'd question her citizenship as a Gambian. <laughs> my, in fact, my name is Aminata Sise. 
Well, what do you mean you can revoke my citizen as a Gambian? Please. Catch me outside. You're making the psychiatric patient relevant when she's already irrelevant. <laughs> Husbands cheat and wives cheat as well. Okay, and and that's why we that's why people don't. Get Mind you, this is the same, this person they really that the per, first one that's called her um a psych she needs a psychiatrist right. Then I came back and commented again. This is obsession. Like you already left your comment. I, I we see you you have to come back again. Like at this point. You're obsessed with You know what Megan said? She, she said, I don't know if half y'all don't F with me or you want to F me. And listen, it's giving much. Do you like her? Because just say that. <laughs> if you like her. Not saying Because at this point, some of these men, because it's really men going in on her. Like, I mean, at this point, it's coming off obsession. Like, you guys just keep commenting back and forth. Like, and I seriously really, like, it doesn't bother me. Like, I, I'm, I'm a firm, like, if I believe strongly of something, that's just genuinely how I feel. And nothing makes nothing is gonna make me change my mind about how I feel. And if you think it's a Western influence thing, I think you're just lost um, because you're just a, 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 a salty, judgmental person. And that's just on you. My whole thing is you wanna jump. Black Lives Matter, Wakanda Forever, and SAS, take your yami out, never again, blah, blah, blah. Don't you know these things are also human rights violations? The fact that you actually want to attack someone now and like because of what they choose, who they choose to love. You really want to fight for human rights, but you really are not fighting for human rights because this is actually also a human rights vi violation. You can't exactly. decide who I love. I will say, yeah, I, I agree. Like, I mean, everyone is entitled to what they believe, you know, like, you know, everyone, like, we all have our different religions and our beliefs, you know, but at the end of the day, like, you, you just, you can't. Like, the hate crimes, the upset, like, just mistreating people just because of how they choose to live or who they choose to be with, I just don't feel like that's appropriate. People, they pick and choose, like, what they, what is, oh, this is a sin, and then you overlook these things, like. And for me, that was my main thing, is, it's like, you cannot pick and choose what's a sin and what's not a sin. So sin you, is sin. Yeah, so you want to sit here. So if you say, so we say homosexuality is a sin, okay, but then what about you fornicating, you having how many, um, how many people, how many body, how, what's your body count? So for all these people, it's all wrong, you know, so. 55 different baby mamas, <laughs> you know, barely even know half of them. Like, I don't like when people judge other people. Like, allow people to live how they want to live, people. Like, it's so upsetting. Like, you're here doing all these things that are so wrong. You're out here on the internet calling me a bee, calling me a prostitute. Well, you have never met me a day in your life. Is it life. right to name call? Okay. Do you Is think, it right to name call? So you call? think that's right? But you want to sit here and now have a, have an opinion about someone who wants to love someone. Me, if I choose to be with a woman, I'll come out here in public and say, hey, guys, the fact is, I like women. So someone said... And what? Someone said, because it kind of goes with this, someone said, social media fools. They keep on saying rubbish every day, wanting to be relevant or heard. No one said cheating is good. In fact, it is very, 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 very bad. Okay. But homosexuality is even worse. So how? give us a break with your nonsense. So how... So who get, who, So God gave you the, the book? I've, I've read uh, the Bible. I've, I've, I've read the entire Bible, right? And I don't recall where it said one sin is greater than the other. I'm sin is it's, sin. I'm confused. So I don't, under, conf I don't understand. And calling people one. social media fools when you actually have a social media Name account. Name calling is, is inappropriate. My friend, keep calling me social media fool. I'm collecting my check. <laughs> <laughs> Them coins rolling in. Ass is coming up. <laughs> people said, wow, there's too many comments are so backwards and uneducated. I've seen it ever. I'm with Amy C. Say anyway, humanity is is matter. Humanity matter, and for me, that's the whole humanity thing. Matters. It, 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 it's human rights, you guys. It's and human guess what? Rights. That was a woman that was on your. I need to, because after this, people just roasted me. I need Someone to said Gambia words. is backwards. This is already happening. No one can stop it. Let people be gay. And let them live their lives. Focus on yourself. Heavy on the focus, focus on, on yourself. yourself. Heavy. If a woman is good in bed and give peace and happiness to her man, there is no way that will make him cheat on her. Sleeping with maids happens when a woman neglects her marital duty. Wait, 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 wait. Have you seen Gelo? Do you know Gelo? Jennifer Lopez. In fact, I will insert her picture right here. When I say, ah, when I say ah, this comment is a ah, is a bold, not, not even a bold face, like this comment is a life from the pit of hells. Like first and foremost. Like we said earlier, you can do everything Think right. right. Mm -hmm. If a man, and I'm, 
let me not just say men, because women also too can cheat. If a person lacks self-control, and you have to wake up each day. I mean, I'm not married, but you know, I've, you know, I've heard people give advice. Yeah. You have to wake up each day and che- choose to be, I'm going to be faithful to this person. I'm going to try to do right by this person. And if you choose not to do it, you're just going to do it anyhow. But at least they cheat with opposite sex, my dear. Not the same sex, or shall I, shall I add more? Wait, 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 wait. So, because at least they're cheating with the same, with the opposite sex. So that makes it better. <laughs> cheating. Ah. What? Some of you people need education. How does she know? She most likely to be part of the problem. So, if you like, call me a lesbian. I, listen, I like what I like. I like what I like. My beliefs stand. I do, I, I'm going to strongly repeat myself. I do believe that people should be, people should be allowed to live how they choose to live. People should be allowed to worship what they want to worship. People would should, just as you allow, just as there is freedom of religion, freedom of speech, there is freedom of actually choosing who you want to love. Freedom of love. We'll find okay. out who's right when we all die. That's when we'll find out. Exactly. So at this, at this point, point, we're just making up stories. <laughs> let's just let's just go. We'll see who's correct when we all die. Oh, I stand for the LGBT community all day, every day. I am with you guys, and love is what love is love. Like love is love. Like if I, listen, I choose to be with a man. I choose. That's that's just who I am. And if somebody else choose to be with a woman or whatever they choose to be with, that's that's them. Like, that's none of your business, okay? And coming back to the first uh, one, which was Gambian men are not romantic. But for me, I think most men these days are not romantic because they've had it so much easier than before. I think before, like, it was really a thing to, like, be romantic Ooh, and lady. actually, like, you know, court a woman and, you know, just do all these romantic things. But nowadays, you just need to swipe left and right to you know, to Women tap that behind. Settle for less too. Yeah, we settle for less. There's so many things that are happening that are changing in society. And people try to make women feel like they're crazy when they have certain standards. It's like, I would expect oh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like you, like you were telling me earlier, a man will treat you how... You want to be treated. Exactly. But anyways, you guys, um, we're going to end the video right here. I hope you guys enjoy this reaction video. And... Make sure you share this video with your friends, family, and loved ones. And leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys really think about some of these um, some of these comments that these people have. Because some people really be like some local, local, local over here. Okay? But as always, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Okay? And again, I hope you guys are going to watch my friend's video that we're going to actually about to Oh, you guys, I got my lip gloss finally. Amy finally gave me my lip gloss. <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> but anyways, you guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. I love y'all, and we'll see you all next time. Mwah. Bye. I've been trying my best not to think about you. But you're stuck in my